Back and thank you for staying with us. President Cyril Ramaphosa delivered his much-anticipated State of the Nation address on Thursday evening. Today we ask you if Ramaphosa has won our confidence back. A property industry guru gives us a market update post the Sona speech. To unpack that further, I'm joined now by John Jack, the global real estate expert and CEO of Galetti. A very good afternoon to you, John, and thank you so much for joining this afternoon. Now, would you say that the Sona speech um, actually boosted uh, investor confidence in the property sector specifically, and have the, has the industry recovered uh, sufficiently? I don't think the industry has recovered, no. Uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure in the market at the moment, a lot of vacancy. Um, businesses are struggling, really. You know, there's not a lot of growth in the market, and that's really what drives the property market overall. Um, I, I think from a Sona perspective, it, there weren't really any concrete plans laid out. It was kind of commitments to do things mm -hmm. shortly and, you know, that, that type of wording. But I sort of, I sort of preferred Jacinda Ardern's two-minute speech. She said, "This is what we've done in the last two years." You yes, know? that would have been better. So I, I don't think we're going to see any immediate movements in the property industry, but we are seeing a base forming. We're definitely seeing a base forming. And in terms of the, um, the, the issue of Section 25 of the Constitution being amended, the whole expropriation of land without compensation, do you think Ramaphosa sufficiently also addressed that particular as aspect because it does affect property as well mm. somewhat? I don't think there's a major concern, specifically from large commercial property owners, there's not a major concern regarding expropriation of that compensation. It's, it's, you know, one of the points was land held for speculative reasons, you mm. know, and there, there's a lot of land held for speculative reasons. But I don't think you're going to see land taken away where there, there, there are plans to develop that land, etc., etc. So it's not, it, it's not really causing panic in our industry. I, I don't see that. You know, perhaps in the farming industry, sure but not really in the commercial property industry. And you've also said that when we see uh, large companies, you know, also retail giants uh, making bold decisions like cutting back on jobs on a large scale, um, it shows a bit of, of concern on their part. Can you expand mm. on that for us? Mm. You know, again, this comes down to no growth. You know, as soon as you don't have any growth, you, you actually can't sustain your, your current levels and, and you try and reduce your overheads. And we're seeing that, you know, it's prolific in the market at the moment. You see tenants going back to the landlords, uh, can I reduce my rental now in exchange for a longer term? Uh, at the end of their period where they're coming to their renewal, they're seeing significant reductions. The landlords are trying to keep their tenants. There's no good reason to lose a tenant in this market. So when you see retrenchments and uh, businesses downsizing, you immediately see it as a vacancy in the property industry. And that vacancy causes sort of less demand, oversupply, and so your rentals start coming down. And you know, I was just thinking about uh, the, the SOEs. You mentioned just now that people would want to, tenants would actually want to reduce their rents. If we look at uh, functionality of SOEs such as ESCOM, mm -hmm. it actually does affect landlords um, as well when ESCOM mm -hmm. isn't functioning proper, properly because you find that perhaps certain um, appliances like perhaps your geysers and so on and so forth are getting damaged more quickly or more mm -hmm. frequently and you're having to replace certain items sure. more and more every time. So in terms of how Ramaphosa tried to address the problems that SOEs are facing, I mean, he's about them not being dependent on government for bailouts, but do you, do you have any hope that something really will happen to improve the state of SOEs in the country? Well, I think you, you mentioned ESCOM. I mean, ESCOM is obviously the major mm. SOE problem at the moment. Um, you know, you find landlords basically addressing this problem, lots of generators and, and, and that type of thing, but like you say, the power coming on and off and, and continued rolling blackouts, etc., is damaging equipment. Resilient came out with a statement recently, I think it was as much as yesterday, to say that they're having to actually budget into their portfolios the expense of replacement and mm. uh, increased maintenance on generators, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you are seeing landlords responding. Um, in terms of what Ramaphosa addressed with the SOEs, I think the most important thing is uh, allowing independent power producers into the market to sell into the grid. How fast is that going to happen? Uh, that's, that's sort of the major question, I suppose. But if that can happen quickly, uh, if we can increase the supply of electricity into, into, the, into the grid, I, I think it's going to have a massive impact. Uh, it, it has to. And, um, and, and, and therefore, maybe we see some growth on the back end of that. And if you see some growth on the back end of that, 
so everyone, everyone in the property industry benefits. And while we wait for the decision on IPPs to be rolled out, um, clearly you mentioned we're not sure how long it's going to take. Would you suggest that perhaps existing landlords um, think of ways to sort of not be too reliant on the grid to move more towards solar-powered um, uh, utensils, solar-powered solar -powered appliances rather, but just be, be, be self-sufficient? Sure, 100%. If, if, you, if you are not looking at sort of making your uh, portfolio sustainable and and, and moving in that direction, you, you're sort of very much behind the curve. Mm. Uh, tenants are looking for space. When they go looking for space, they want to know, does it have a generator? Does it have solar power? And, and sort of your larger manufacturers and that kind of thing are going to be looking for opportunities to generate their own power. We also heard Ramaphosa talking about that. Um, so that's going to be a big space in the market. And, and you're starting to see those entrants into the market, the, the sort of bigger sustainable power producers, globally are moving into the market. It's a, it's a massive opportunity for growth, even for local businesses. Mm. Um, so that's quite an exciting space, actually. And just lastly, what do you think needs to be done? What sort of uh, certain specific steps should be taken in order to improve investor confidence in this particular sector? You've also mentioned um, things like the, 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 the increase in GDP has to be a bit of a higher percentage. Mm. Yeah, sure. Um, at, at the moment, obviously, we're struggling with large debt levels in the, in the, in the country. Um, and we... we Largely, the South African landlords want to see decreases in interest rates. I mean, that, that would be an immediate benefit for them, you know. Um, and we see sort of 25 basis point reduction. It doesn't really have much of an impact. You know, if you were to come in with sort of closer to 100 points, that's going to have a bigger impact in the property market. You can imagine landlords are sitting with portfolios with uh, declining rentals and vacancies where they're not even receiving a rental. They still need to service their they still need to service their, lo their loans, their bonds. And, and that's the problem, you know. So if we can reduce that, uh, I think that'll have an immediate impact uh, on the market. Well, thank you very much, John Jack, the uh, uh, global retail estate expert and CEO of Galetti, just letting us know the impact of the recent State of the Nation address delivered by President Cyril Ramaphosa, what impact it'll actually have on the property market and how the market has been respons responding since the release of that statement. Now, I'm